been a long road back to title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work, and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar. But how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John. The team's been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed, he's got power, all the tools to rest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new Well, for all the places we go in the world, few can hold up to this one. Good evening from T-Mobile Arena here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Opened April of 2016. UFC went there for the first time at UFC 200, and they've been bringing big shows seemingly every other month ever since. They call Vegas the fight capital of the world, and if you're talking about a home base for the UFC, you're talking about T-Mobile Arena, home to some of the biggest UFC events ever, UFC 200. Conor McGregor versus Khabib Nurmagomedov. This place has been the home of some of the biggest UFC fights in history. Tonight, you get to take the same walk to that octagon to try to make your mark on the sport. Back to the jab now, no good. Ooh, what a punch. Head kick land. You have got to make some adjustments. Effective with the jab. That was a nice strike. Does a great job getting out of that clutch position. And that left hook landed on the button. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Oh, straight punch. Now he's starting to find his groove with the counter strikes. This is his bread and butter to keep his opponent at bay and keep him guessing. And when his opponent over engages, make him pay with a straight right hand, straight left, or a jab. Nicely done with the hands there. Busy in the clinch, lands that punch. Lands a nasty body kick. Slips and rips. Well, he has done a masterful job using his opponent's aggressiveness and offense against him here tonight. Just look at those numbers, bottom of your screen. The counter striking has been the big story of this fight. Nice shot there by the champ. Yeah, he wants to draw his opponent in here, looking to set up another counter, but he wants his opponent to strike first. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Nice counter there with the left hand. Snaps it off beautifully. Just misses there with the left. Beautiful block there. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Good jab. Big punch. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to it. Looked like it did start him a little bit.
sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, blood's in the water. You got to go and get it. You got to go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that, because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you hurt him. Bleeding now. Nasty cut on his nose. Landed a big kick there. Now to go in the opening round. <laughs> Straight right is there. Right hook to the head blocked. Final seconds around one. Takedown defense is there. Just missed with the leg kick. Second round, straight ahead. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. Ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. Oh, nice hook. Oh, you gotta love the leg kicks, and there it is. Oh, big left. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're gonna be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing shot. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you have got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. Oh, Superman punch is good. Circling away towards the left now. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Doing a great job fighting behind the reach and dictating where the fight takes place. Big shot lands for both guys. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Clinch position. Beautiful elbow over the top. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now he seems lost to it. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following a game plan. It's work. Under two minutes now to go in round two. 
big shot to the head. Head kick! Oh, right hand gets up to block it. You know, that's, that's a big thing whenever you're blocking high kicks, man. You cannot just take the brunt of that kick on one arm. You have to get that cross arm to try and guide that kick so you don't take all of it. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. And they separate. Well, missed on that one. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Right above the eye. He's able to get his hands up to block that one. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Good body shot. Thirty seconds to go in the rounds. Clipped him with the right hand there. That's a beautiful body kick. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. You see the cut just above the eye from that round. So the cut man's got to get in here, close that thing up. You don't want it becoming an issue here into this next round. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. You ready to fight? You ready? You sure? Round three of a possible five. Good job defensively to block that punch. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh! Came with inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night at that landing. Yeah. That was great head movement. Oh, man. Oh, no pad on the foot. That's a solid kick right there. Oh, oh look at that. Big knee to the body. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Good jab. Trying to kick the leg out. work with that jab, jab lands. All right, so a knockdown for him in the previous round, and you can just see by his body language how confident he is in the striking realm in this matchup. And you can see his confidence in his posture, but also you can see the effect that knockdown had on his opponent by the way he is approaching this round. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Now he's got the single collar in the clinch. Fighter lands a kick now. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Well, don't get mad, get even. Right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Mentally, it appears as though he's checked out more. A lot easier said than done. When his opponent has the power that he possesses, it's hard for him to say, you know what, I'm going to take one to give one. Very fast and kick landscape. Oh, he continues to land. 
and the high number of strikes in this round really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Just over two minutes now to go. Clean punch. Oh, lands a nice straight. Slips. starting to accumulate. Maybe some defense would be wise at this point in the fight. I think so, John. You can't just get beat up to the body. It doesn't show itself right away. It takes time whenever you're beating somebody up from the body and working your way up to the head. But right now, we are starting to see the damage, and you see it not only in the body, but in the reactions of the opponent. One minute now to go in the third. Oh, his wrestling has been a great equalizer thus far in his UFC career and gets the single leg takedown. And you know that it's his shot. It's his shot of choice. A single leg takedown, and he's securing it, and he's doing it and scoring it over and over. Oh, this is getting kind of hard to watch, right? He targets the cut and lands a strike right on it. Final 30 seconds of this third round. There it is. Now he's going to mouse. He's got to start throwing now. Oh, interesting there as he just decides to let him back up. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, that cut on his nose is only getting worse. Not good. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship round. All right, there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and he heads back to the stool, and hopefully he can stay in this fight because that is a severe cut that he's dealing with right now. All right, let us get you some replays from the damage in that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the shot that opened the cut. I mean, just some big shots landed over the course of that round, and he wasn't responsible defensively. He was trying to tough out way too many situations. You can't do that when you're fighting a guy like this. If he doesn't change something, he's going to find himself in trouble. You ready to fight? You ready? Fourth round now. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's palpable. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, someone's going to get a belt strapped around their waist. It's amazing. Leg kick lands. Man, that cut is just nasty. So if you're the guy who cleans up the canvas, are you, like, rooting for this so you have a job to do? I mean, you want to do less as possible. You want to just sit there and watch. The reality is, though, he's got some work in front of him after this fight. And so does the cut, man. We are bloodied and battered here in the octagon. everything so well and he's so calm he's so calm in the face of such a big spot trying to go to the body now with the kick that one misses yet another strike targeting that already bruised area on the side of his body just mixing everything up there finding his target using his punches, his kicks, and everything else to try to do damage to his opponent's body. I love this game plan.
Just over three minutes to go now. Work. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing records. Gets back to his feet. That's a big strike right there. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taken to this cut. Easier said than done, though. Just over two minutes to go. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strikes, the longer he can prolong his career. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Man, his body not looking too good right now. It's not quite Dominic Reyes against Jan Bohovic, but these body strikes really starting to add up. They're starting to pay dividends. You know, he spoke to us about this earlier in the week, how he was going to eat this guy up from bottom to top. He was going to go in reverse. That's exactly what he has done. Back to his feet. but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. All right, so he just decides to get up here and let the opponent up. Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, you can get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now. But his opponent's still standing, and I think that speaks to the durability of the guy standing in front of him. Twenty seconds left. is on one of the biggest wins in his UFC. Massive win for this young fighter. He got the knockout victory. What a performance.